What's going on friends and welcome back to my channel. Today is officially the first day of fall and I have a new toy to play with. I know this palette isn't a new palette. Uh, it's been out for a while, but um, I was recently gifted this for my birthday. Thank you so much to Nicole and Justine. I've been wanting this palette for so long, but I just felt so guilty in buying new makeup because I already had so much. Every time um, my friend Ashlyn uh, would be getting ready, she would always be using this palette and I always admired its colors. It's so pretty. So I'm gonna do a wearable fall look today. Uh, I know because it's fall, sometimes people go full glam with like really heavy like berry colors or like dark colors, but I wanted to do a fall look that is wearable for the day, something kind of low maintenance. Um, and yeah, I'll be using this. I just realized that there was a brush that came with this palette. Ew, I didn't even notice it when I first opened it. What the heck? Oh, there is a little. Okay, let's see. Ooh, this fluffy little brush. Um, I won't be using this today. I'm actually going to be using a bunch of new brushes that I got from a website called um, Miss A, Shop Miss A. I think um, that's what it's called. I don't know. But everything there is a dollar. Like all these, everything is a dollar. So I got a bunch of new brushes just to try it out. I know I never usually really talk about brushes on my um, channel. It's because all my brushes are like from e.l.f. or like Target or like Costco. You know, they're not really anything special. Um, and everybody know what e.l.f. elf everybody knows what e.l.f. brushes are already. So I wanted to give these affordable ones a try. What prompted me to actually buy these brushes was this brush. It's shaped kind of curved. Um, I think it kind of reminds me of. Rihanna's Fenty brush, the one that everyone uses for their highlight. So I don't really know what I'm going to be doing with this. But um, <laughs> yeah, I have all that. And again, everything's a dollar. Um, I also got from that website a little holder for my beauty blender. My beauty, oh, my beauty sponge. Hey, cool, look at that. It's made of silicone, so it'll be easy to wipe clean and wash. Oh, it's been a little while since I put on foundation. I'm gonna use L'Oreal True Match Foundation. I'm actually going to mix this foundation and kind of um, thin it out with a little bit of a dewy brightening primer. And the one that I've always been using is this one. What is this from? Botanic Farm. Just push it. I do like half a pump or so, and then mix it on my hand. And I love this one again because it has like a like a pinky finish and it's supposed to brighten and make your skin look really nice. So I'm just gonna mix my foundation with that. Oh, and I'm also wearing some uh, some new contacts. These are from TTDI. Um, in one of my previous videos, I was wearing um, the brown one, but today this one I think is uh, the light gray or the blue. I don't know, I'll look, I'll look back at my order and then I'll link it for you guys below. I can't believe it's already fall. It's so crazy. There's all these memes about how um, 2008 started out so slow. Like January felt like it was like 56 days. <laughs> it was totally true. January did feel kind of long, but the rest of the year has just zoomed by like crazy. I've actually been doing so much. I've used the plane more this year than my like Entire life combined. <laughs> I've also been getting a lot of sun in like LA and Vegas and all that stuff. So um, yeah, you can't. I don't know if you can tell now, but yeah, my body is. Look at that. Look at that tan line. Uh, yeah. That's why I'm kind of going light on the foundation, just because it's not um, an exact match for me. But I do want to even out my skin. I have some stubborn pimples <laughs> that doesn't seem to be going away. Just gonna use some concealer under the eyes. This is ColourPop, as well as on these little spots and around the nose. Right down here. Yeah. Let's just go there. I'm running out of this concealer. I really wanna uh, try out the Too Faced concealer next. Everybody is raving about it. And it looks like the type of concealer that everybody uses just alone without um, foundation or anything. Like it's just one of those one step product type so i want to get that because i usually do that look where i only wear concealer okay let's set all this with our trusty Too faced powder next we're going to go into the brows i actually brought a new uh, brush for the brows let's see which one is it 
think it is this one. This one, this one from uh, again Shop Miss A. And it is the E114. And it's the angled brow brush. I'm actually currently using a flat brush for my brows and I kind of just wanted to see if there would be a difference and um, the one that I have this one's from Costco it's a Kirkland brand I think it's great the bristles are great it's easy to clean it's sturdy it feels nice and uh, weighty this one feels a little lighter but um, it is an angled brush and I just wanted to try it it was only a dollar so I'm gonna use Anastasia in medium brown okay okay wow I feel like is it bigger? The head of, or like di the diameter of this brush is a little bit bigger than this brush, so I feel like I'm gonna do my brows a lot faster now using this brush. Look, I'm almost like, I already filled in most of it. Wow. Honestly, I didn't think that there would be much of a difference. <laughs> and I was like, it's only a dollar, what's gonna matter if there's no difference? But there's a difference. Oh, I like this brush. Wow. I like. I also like that it's not very um, thin. Like, there's a lot of bristles on here. So, you pick up a good amount of product so you don't have to keep going back in and reloading your brush. But for those who want to do like hair like brush, uh, hair like strokes on their brows, I don't think this brush would be good for you because it is kind of on the thicker side. So, it'll give you like that full brow effect. Oh, they also have a bunch of other things on their website, so you guys are gonna have a good time looking through that. And now to the fun part, we're gonna go with the eyes using this beautiful palette. I think I wanna do something with this color. Or like this, something in between that, like a berry color. And um, these colors look so beautiful. Oh my god, I don't even know. Okay, let's see if I can use one of my newer brushes. What is this one called? This one is the E113. It's like a flat shader brush. Um, it's kind of big. Look, it's like covers the whole eye almost. <laughs> but um, I like that it's flat and it kind of tapers. Like it, the brushes go like that. So let's pick up. I haven't even swatched any of these yet. They're so beautiful. My gourd. Uh, let's pick up. Uh, Venetian red. Let's do Venetian red. Just at the tip of the brush, just right at the top. You see that? Cause I'm gonna put that. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna put that as close to my lash line. Wowzers! Wowzers! Okay, I'm gonna create kind of like a really thick, smoky wing almost, and kind of lay it here as a base. And when you're doing this, um, because of everybody's different folds and creases in their eyes, you're gonna have to check when you, um, and look straight ahead instead of just going like this. Cause you can see all the color there, but when you do this, sometimes you have to check to see if the color still shows and just um, adjust it to your eye shape. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. What I liked about these brushes is um, none of the hairs fall out when I was washing them. I always wash my brushes before I use them. Uh, no color or like, dyes or pigments came out i was washing one of my morphe brushes the only morphe brush that i had and a whole bunch of black dye came out of it i'm like what the hell is that so i never brought any other brushes because i'm too scared <laughs> but um all these brushes and no colors came out the only brush that had um one or two hairs that fell out was this fluffier one um no oh, i'm sorry this big one and um everything else no hairs no fallouts so i think for a dollar that's pretty good let's go to the other eye. I'm in love with this color already. And when you feel like you've had a good um, foundation or base of the eyeshadow, I'm going to use this, the same brush with no product and just blend it up. Blend the edges out. And bring that color a little further up as you blend. Now I'm going to take one of the fluffier brushes that I just got. It is the, there's no number on it, but it's called the Cream Brush. It's from Shop Miss A, but there's um, a little different from this one. Again, I'll list it all below. It's called the Cream Brush. It's really fluffy. Look at it. It's round, fluffy. And we are going to go in with a color to transition and kind of blend it. 
Well, let's do, you know, before I put anything on my eye, let me swatch it. I'm choosing between these two, raw sienna and burnt orange. Oh my gosh, you guys, these colors. Or burnt orange. Hmm. I'm gonna do raw sienna because it's not as warm. It's a little, it's like less orangey. So I'm gonna do raw sienna all over this fluffy brush. Just go in once, tap off, because I feel like this is really pigmented, and just, ooh, start blending. Oh wow. I only did one little dip and a tap off, and that looks nice. Let's do another dip. I think this is gonna be my new favorite palette. On the other eye. Okay, taking that same brush, I'm not even gonna clean it. I'm gonna go into Primavera, which is this light golden color. And I'm gonna boop and put it toward the center here. Not the center, the inner corner here. Beautiful. I think that's as far as I'm gonna go. So I'm gonna do everything that I did on top, on the bottom. I'm gonna go back in with that beautiful Venetian red color. Take that flat brush earlier and throw it in the lower lash line. Mostly staying on the outer half. If you feel like you've lost some color in the blending um, from up top, you can always go back. But I think colors stay pretty well. I don't know how I'm gonna do my lower lash line with this big ass fluffy brush, but I'm gonna try it anyway. So back into raw sienna. Taking that and blending it. It's possible. Yes, and then back into the gold Primavera color at the bottom. I also brought a new um, angled eyeliner brush. This one is the E116. And the one that I have, the bristles were kind of starting to fray a little bit. So um, the corners and um, it wasn't being as precise when I was using gel. Not that I use it very often anyway, but uh, I needed a new brush anyways. I'm going to go in with Cypress Umber, the darkest brown color here. And I'm going to use that as a very light, smoky, ooh. I got too much and look at that fallout. I should have gotten less. But um, I'm gonna use that as a little bit of a shadow liner right under that Venetian red. Let me wipe off that fallout before I move on. Okay, where were we? Yeah, so we got that little bit of a liner going on with the Cypress Umber color. Beautiful. I am actually gonna go back with the Venetian Red just a tiny bit so I can make it deeper. Alrighty, alrighty. Now we're gonna go in with the lashes. I'm gonna go in with the, my Dior primer and I'm actually gonna be using a new mascara. This one is the Heroin Make. Volume and Curl Mascara is super waterproof. This is a Japanese brand and um, I hear that it holds curl very well. So if you curl your lashes, that might matter, but I don't really curl my lashes because I don't have a lash curler that I like. Uh, I need to get a new one. So um, I'm just gonna use this just because I need to use a new mascara. I've been using my Too Faced one for so long that I wanted to try something different. I gotta say it gives okay volume. I oh, know, okay length but not really a lot of volume to this. And that's even with using the Dior Lash Primer, so. I don't know. I don't know, heroin. Hmm, I should probably retry this mascara when I get a new curler because it's not like super impressive right now. <laughs> um, I think you can find drugstore mascaras for a lot less that would do better well let's put some of this on the lower lash line because i never use any mascara on the lower lash line because they always smudge and make me look crazy even if they claim they're waterproof so let's see if this one is actually waterproof so we're gonna finish off with the face let's go in with a trusty palette um this one is from benefit it's their cheek palette i've been using this for a while now and it has the bronzer and all the blushes in it so i'm just gonna use this course the Huda bronzer mm. 
I'm gonna use the Rocket Tour blush right here. All right, let's go in with highlight. I'm gonna be using something that I don't very often use just because I don't think this color or I don't know if this color is still available, but it is the ColourPop, uh, what is this called? Luster Dust. And I love these Luster Dust, but um, I think that the colors that I have aren't for sale anymore. This one is called uh, Just For Us. This has a nice pinky highlight down the news as well. And for the lips, I know uh, berry colors are very popular, like I mentioned in the beginning. But this is ColourPop's uh, Ultra Blotted Lip Formula, so it's not very intense. If you want to wear this for daytime, if you want something more low maintenance, um, Ultra Blotted Lips is the way to go. So the color looks crazy in here, but it'll look really sheer on the lips. I'm just gonna focus that on the center and then use my fingers. Oof. And there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I haven't done my hair yet and it's just been in the clip all day so it looks kind of crazy. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look. Oh my gosh, isn't it cute? I'm gonna have so much fun playing with uh, this palette and using all my new brushes. I know I didn't use uh, everything, like I didn't use these, but I will in the future so stick around i hope you guys enjoy thank you so much for watching see you guys next time bye